What is up, everybody? <laughs> Sorry, we, we were off camera and yes. kicking. So, yes. welcome to another edition of The Fetish Talk with our lovely Viper and Daddy B. All right. So, this video <laughs> is going to be in a shout out to Daddy G, aka Gerald because. <laughs> Someone decided to put up a post today about them free balling at the market up the street. <laughs> so I think for our viewers, viewers, we should clarify what VPL is because I, I didn't know. I didn't know that y'all had code words for dicks. You know, because I'm used to batting for the other team. You know, and I get dicks on occasion. I wasn't aware <laughs> that y'all had acronyms and shit already yeah. set up for dicks. So uh -huh. uh, Daddy G was talking about uh, his VPL. While he was walking through the farmer's market. So, for y'all that did not know, especially you, dear, VBL you. is Visible Penis Line. So, you can okay. see the eggplant in the pants of the shorts. Okay. Yes. All right. So, free balling, how do you feel? Because I know there's so many different ways to free ball. Like, Absolutely. even, especially for the female counterparts, the whole free the nipple movement is basically a free ball. Absolutely. And I don't think you have a bra on because I'm not sure. I, I, I don't have a problem with the nipple, free the titties. I mean, okay. So, real quick, let, let, me, let me get to how I feel about in reference to penises, okay? So yes. my experience with free balling, as far as like me visible, visibly seeing penises just out and about, just jangling for Jesus, is actually on the train coming home from work. Surprisingly, there are oh girl, I'm gonna look. Come there are CTA. men. There are men <laughs> on the CTA, honey, that are coming in from their corporate jobs, and I know you're not wearing underwear, bruh, because I see you. Okay, all these corporate daddies out here just you know doing anything at work and then have the nerve to stand right in front of me. Y'all know I'm short as fuck. So I'm on the train on my phone getting my, my thumbs together and I look up and it's just dick print. Just, just, just like, hello. In my face. <laughs> and it just go all the way down. I'm like, okay, okay. And then, you know, I lean over a little bit just because, so, you know, we're on the train, we're open. And sometimes I don't want to bump my partner, but I don't mind bumping the front. What's up? So I just, you know, get a little close and I'm like, mm, now, mm. See, now. And then you bird watch. It's an easy, now, see, that it's like, easy way to say. bird watch. Like, that was, your, that was what your status was about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be a bird watching. Somebody see it. Girl, you. I just like I was bird watching on the train, girl, because so many men just be having it out, just dangling. And I'm like, I mean, if you're gonna let it dangle, let me take a look. Mm -hmm. Let me know. Come on, see it. Let me see how long it is, squirrel. Let me see how long it is so I can take a money and measure it. I just need to know. Come you know, out, come out. I was a much lower than seven, girl, so I need to see. Five queen. <laughs> <laughs> So that's Let my me resurrect her. <laughs> so that's my experience <laughs> with penises. Now, as far as my titties being out, to be completely honest, y'all, I wore bras on a regular, like maybe up until I was twenty-two, and then I was like, you know what? Fuck this! I'm going back into the community. These motherfuckers can see my titties. I don't give no fucks. If any of these men got an issue with seeing with titties, then you ain't gotta look. <laughs> <laughs> so my black ass is like, well, I'm just gonna get a onesie, and I'm just gonna have a side boob. Real, excuse me. Yeah, I'm sorry. Side side I'm I'm here, I'm and so you know, it's just like you know, free the titties, have them out, shake them a little bit, jiggle like, you know, if men want to look, they can look. If people want to look, they can look. I don't care as long as you're being respectful. Yes, you know, you step always. to be correct. Then okay, and be like, look, but don't touch, sweetheart. Absolutely. Don't, don't touch me with that unless you have permission. Absolutely. And I'm all about free balling. You know, mm -hmm. I, honey, in the in the summertime, I'll wear a kilt and a snap. <laughs> I had to tell my partner about that. They did not know. Shout out to Sarah. You just learned a lot, baby. So I had to tell them. You're teaching. One person at the top. <laughs> I had to tell Sarah. I was like, Sarah, well, you know, when people wear kilts and people tell me that they're wearing kilts, like, nine times out of ten, I'm going to assume that they're not wearing anything under them. You're not supposed to. Mm -hmm. So if it is, so again, educational moment, learning with fetish talk. Um, in the community, if you are wearing a kilt, you at certain events can be what is called kilt checked. Mm -hmm. So they will ask you, is it truly a kilt? And then you can be like, well, you can check. Because the difference between a kilt and a skirt is underwear. 
Yes. A moment. Take that in. The difference between a kilt and a skirt is underwear. So, men, if you're wearing a kilt and you have on a jock, you have on boxer briefs, you have on briefs, a thong, g-string, whatever, you have now moved to the classification of a skirt in the community. Which isn't bad. That's not bad. So I don't want anybody to sit here and be like, oh my god, I mean, wearing skirts or there's... No, that's not the case. That's just by definition. So women who wear kilts will free ball and not have any underwear on. And yes, ma'am. And yes, there have been women to get kilt checked. And the JJ is just like, hi, you tried. (laughs) We said kilt, bitch, and we meant it. (laughs) You hear me? So I no. need a cute gladiator skirt though. But even in a skirt, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a trashy bitch. I don't care. Even in a skirt, I but will. it's the same thing. Mm-hmm. If you if it's a leather community event, mm-hmm. gladiator skirt or kilts are in the same category. They're okay. just the length is different. Right. You got nothing on. Okay. So, honey, if you get a Marilyn Monroe moment going on, <laughs> by all means, I mean everybody can just stand around and look. I'm okay with it. You're just like hi. I'm an exhibitionist. If y'all don't. Know. So Who are we are? Hello. You, I personally identify as that. Our mother is Fetish Jack Hammer 2016, and I'm Fetish Jack Hammer 2018. That's all I'll say. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So mm-hmm. back to this VPS situation, right. dear. So the question posed by Daddy G mm-hmm. was, "How often do you partake in this?" So, we just learned about you and the Free the Nipple movement, but let's ask about Lopa. How often do you walk out Camino? Oh, wow. Um, actually, not that often. Surprisingly. Not that often. Same because, here. you know, I, y'all know my line of work. Y'all know what I do. So, I can't always just be out and about, okay? <laughs> um, but... For me, and also how I mentioned in the other video, um, the first one, uh, for leather events, if they're here in Chicago, for sure, you know, a bitch has an Uber budget because, you know, I can't be out here, you know, nipples out and coochie out and just be out here in the streets because my fuckers are crazy. And so, I, you know, I wish I could have both out and just, you know, be the exhibitionist I'd love to be. But, you know, I'm, you know, I have to choose. So yes. I, I usually have the titties going and doing their own thing. And I usually keep the cootie cat closed. Um, but if I did decide to finally get a gladiator skirt, which I want, by the way, I really want a gladiator skirt, I will totally have the cootie cat out and go in. I will just press on my lovely phone and go, boop, boop, beep, boop, Uber, <laughs> to get into this event. Yeah, right. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Because I can't, I can't take no risks. I can't take no Marilyn Monroe events, you know, occurring in my life. You know, scenes happening in my life. Could you imagine walking downtown on State Street? Be trying to hit the IML and it just goes. And a train come through and like the wind come up through those grates. I'd be so mad. They'd be like, damn, bitch, can you make it to IML before your skirt come up? (laughs) I'd be so mad at my, I'd be mad at the train. I'd be mad at myself. I'd be like, damn. Damn, red line. Damn. I'm trying to tell people all my business. Not you. Well, yeah, that's my that's my experience with uh, like letting the cootie cat out. Yes. Yeah. And for me, it's it's same. Like I really don't free ball that much, yeah. and it's not because I don't want to or anything right. like that. It's like just that old school home training. Like you don't you put some drums. Yeah, you don't leave the house without drums. And, and it's hard to break that sometimes. Like mind you, I'm 29. Mm-hmm. There. Really. Girl, birthday was June 26th. Gordon and Lashley, 26. Yeah. Okay. You better live it up. I mean, we're always 25. We're black. So, yeah. you know, black don't crash. 25 I, with Someone said I was 16 experience. the other day, and I was like, I'll gladly take it, girl. You know, because I'm turning 50 next month. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any guy. I'm so done. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me while I fix my face. <laughs> But, um, so yeah, so it's like, it's hard to break that home training. You grew yeah. up with it for so long. It's true. And thighs rub together. They do. Because, you know, I'm thinking juicy. And I don't got Absolutely. time for VPL to just be like, 
VPN plus B, your plus ball, and it's just like, hi, hey, how you doing? What's up? What's here? I'm just rubbing on the right hand. Right? It's just like, you're going to start a fire down here. You oh, know? Dude, that, no one likes a rash. No high crotch. No and I don't mean, you know, how oh. yeah, But it's just friction down here. I'm dead. I'm dead. Time of death. What time is it? Time of death. 417. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm all for it, and I love you, girl. I'll be that pigeon off of Facebook, that gift where the binoculars come down. I will stand and watch all day long. Absolutely. But I can't be part of y'all's team because we got that rubbing friction over here. And Absolutely. I'd like to not be fanning myself every 20 minutes. Like, who is hot? Get some air in here. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, I can't be out here just fanning the cootie cat. I mean, and also sometimes the cootie cat just needs to get free to get some air. Okay, mm -hmm. I like my clothes tight, so I gotta make sure that you know. We gotta clear it up. Gotta clear like, it up. Okay, let's okay. breathe. Mm -hmm. Turn Tony Braxton over here. <laughs> nice. But please, please share with us. You know, how often does BPL occur in your life, in your daily game, when you're taking a stroll? Yes. And shout out to Daddy G. For giving us that topic today. Love you. And how often do you invoke in the free balling experience? Is it right. your VPN that we're looking at? Okay. Mm -hmm. And if it Ooh. is, I mean, let me look a little bit more. Let me know. Mm -hmm. Just let me just type in the comment below. Maybe a zip code or two so we can be on that particular train. Absolutely. Like, I know binoculars you get on a Loyola. Down. Like, ooh, binoculars down. Yes. And we're walking. We're good. We're good. <laughs> looking, looking like a good ape, good, looking like a good hot dog. Right? <laughs> Everybody over here looking like cute little Debbies. Yeah. <laughs> literally a Twinkie. <laughs> Cranfield. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining us with Fetish Talk. Please stay free and fetishy. Stay kinky. And always hugs and kisses. Always. Bye. Bye. My dick plays on the double feature screen. Yo, dick went straight to DVD. My dick.